Let's have a sesh on the Cambridge I GCSE and how the GCSE works. So there are two papers that you will do, paper one and paper two, but they are very different to each other. Let's go through paper one first. So paper one is a 90 minute paper, hour and a half, and it gives 80 marks. In terms of how the paper works, it will be lots of short answer questions and data response questions. And the key thing for you is there is no case study that you'll be referring to. In terms of how the paper is laid out, you'll have four questions. Each question will have some short answer questions, being define questions or calculate questions. And then it will move into outline or explain type questions. And then it will finish with the bigger question. And the bigger question will always be the justify question. And it will be for six marks. You'll see that repeated in question two, question three, and question four. But in some questions, you might see a defined question as the first question, and in other questions, you might say, see the calculate question as the short answer question. And in others, you might see an outline, or you might see an explain. But that's the basic gist, that it will work towards a justify six mark question. So you need to practice those inside out. In terms of paper two, paper two is the same amount of time and the same amount of marks. So it's 90 minutes, 80 marks, but it's different. It's different because you're going to have an insert and that insert is effectively your context or your case studies. And you need to refer to that case study. It's very important. Bring a highlighter pen and make sure you are attacking the case study. You've had a quick whisk through the questions so you know what you're looking for and then read the case study. So it's more dynamic when you're reading it. In terms of how it's laid out. You'll also have four questions, but they'll be slightly different because you'll have four questions and they will work with two parts in each question. So you'll have an explain question for eight marks and then you'll have a justify question for 12 marks. And that will be repeated in each of the four questions. So each question comes to 20 marks and therefore there's 80 marks overall for the paper. Key thing, you must apply. So you've got to use this case study when you answer these questions, particularly those justify questions. You must apply. So many marks come from your application and talking in context. If the business is a restaurant, talk in context of that restaurant. Don't talk in context of another business that you've learned in your lessons. Very important tip. The last thing to be aware of is that for paper one and paper two, there are assessment objectives, AOs, and there are four. AO1 is knowledge, AO2 is application, AO3 is analysis, and AO4 is evaluation. But look how they are weighted. They are weighted differently to each paper. In terms of paper one, 50% of the marks will come from your knowledge. 20% of the marks will come from your application. 20% will come from analysis, and the remaining 10% will come from evaluation. So it's a really knowledge based paper. The other paper is different and arguably harder because the marks come in the harder skills that you need to show. So you only get 30% coming from knowledge, 20% from application, 30% from analysis. You've got to know your pros and cons well and then 20% for your evaluation. So it depends on what's your judgment. So in terms of the overall for the GCSE, for AO1, 40%, AO2, 20%, AO3, 25%, and 15% for AO4. I hope you're enjoying these videos and make sure you check out all the content videos so you can get ready for your exam. Good luck, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you very much.